In this short video presentation, we're going to revisit the back of bend to back of bend that we did in Steel Conduit. This time showing the skills in order to adjust an underbent second bend. It's important to note that if you overbend your second bend, go beyond 90. At the moment, we would like you to stop and ask your instructor for some help. However, let's see what happens when we've got the second bend bent, but not quite at 90 degrees. How do we go about adjusting it to be at 90 degrees? Let's look at that next. So then, Joe, you happy and ready to bend? Absolutely, I've got my vertical piece of conduit lined up with the former. I've got the back of bend mark in the right place. So now we're ready to put our second 90 degree bend in. So we'll do that now. And we're aiming to get that down to 90 degrees. And I always tend to underbend it the first time. So we'll get that in to there. And that looks somewhere close, so we'll take this out of the former and we'll measure it up and we'll see if we've managed to do this correctly. Okay. Okay then, Joe, so what's the next stage you're going to do? So we just want to make a really important point at this stage. This is the first bend that we put in. We got this bend to 90 degrees. We know that the measurement was accurate for what we wanted and now we want to leave that bend alone. We don't want to start adjusting that one. We're going to use that as our fixed reference point. That is the bend that we know is accurate. If I start changing this bend to make it suit this piece of conduit over here, then we're going to have two incorrect bends, which is very much what we don't want. So we get our scrap piece of conduit and just line it up there. So again, we're extending the back edge of this piece of conduit with our scrap piece. And then if I put my combi square at that end and just bring it over, you can see I've not quite bent it to 90 degrees. So we need to put a little bit more of a bend into this one. And you've said previously that you'd like to have it slightly underbent because it's easier to put bend in than to take it out. Is that still true? Very much so. That's the way I view it. Uh, so we'll put this back into the bending machine and we'll add a little bit more into this. So Joe, we're back at the conduit bending machine and which of the two bends are we going to bend this time? So this was our first bend that we put in. We were happy with this one. We got that right. What we're going to do now is put our second bend back into the machine and just add a little bit more to it. So in order to do this, we just need to lift up uh, the stop arm there, lift up the bending arm like that and then normally the easiest way to do this is just to put it in this way so that we get the right bend in first time. So we've got that back in its position, we want to get it as close to where it was when we bent it the first time, just make sure that that's firmly into the bending machine and we're ready to just add a little bit more bend to this now. So what we'll do now is we'll just add a little bit more bend in and again, it's just that gentle motion. You can feel it start to go, but what you're looking for first of all is if you just lean on the bending arm, you'll feel the machine tighten up. You can feel it kind of get to its position where it's going to start bending. And then we just want to add just the weight of your arm. That's probably enough. It's surprising how much it bends with just a little bit of pressure. So let's take it out and we'll have a look if we've got that right now. Uh, yeah, so we'll see if this is at 90. So we've got our piece of conduit as a datum. We've got our combi square. We'll slide that up and you can see that that is now at 90 degrees. So we're happy that we've got our two bends in correctly. Thank you, Joe, for that. So that's how to add some more bend when you're underbent. Remember to ask your instructor if you overbend it. 